Lee Jae-wook's first movie role as the bad guy in Netflix's Killbox Soon is a success. In the new Netflix thriller Killbox Soon, Lee Jae-wook played a bad guy. Lee Jae-wook showed people what his bad guy character looks like in the new movie Killbox Soon. The K-drama star is always the center of attention, and it's not just because of how good-looking he is. It's also because of how well he acts. Since his first role in Memories of Alhambra on TVN in 2018, the young actor has shown his many sides. In his last show, Lee Jae-wook played the main character. In 2022, when he played Jang Yu-k in the hit fantasy romance drama Alchemy of Souls, he became one of the most popular actors. Also, Lee Jae-wook's most recent role once again blew people away. In particular, the famous person had a short part in Killbox Soon. Even though he was only on screen for less than four minutes, the extraordinary Yu star stole the show right away because he played the bad guy so well, the famous actor, who is 24 years old, played a young version of Cha Min Q, who runs MK Ant where Bok Soon works. The adult version is played by Sol Kyung Gu, who has won many awards, fans liked Lee Jae Wook's cold and sharp looks, which made him perfect for playing Cha Min Q, but no one thought he would be great in the role of the bad guy. Before Lee Jae Wook's face was shown, his voice was already threatening and interesting. People couldn't stop talking about Lee Jae Wook's character after some clips of his scenes were posted online. Then, people praised the actor's performance on different SNS. Also, Lee Jae Wook is being asked to be in the upcoming star studded drama Death's Game. If he agrees, he will work with big stars like Seo in Guk, Super Junior member Siwon, Jang Sung Jo, Sung Hoon, and Park So Dam. Also in discussions to join the series is the actor's former Alchemy of Souls co-star Go Yoon Young. If Go Yoon Young accept the offer, she will reunite with Lee Jae Wook. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos.